Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here, and today this is going to be a companion piece to a video guide I did on Halo Infinite's weapons. If you didn't see that, link will be down below in the description. Now I'm going to talk about melee in Halo. Now you might be thinking, But Blazing, why are we talking about melee in Halo? Everyone knows what that does. Oh, you poor thumbless piece of filth. The reason why I want to talk about melee in Halo is because in other shooters, it's not as important. In Halo, there's actually a right and wrong time to melee. Knowing when your enemy is weak enough for a quick melee kill is a big deal. Melee too early or panic melee if a player happens to be next to you might lead to a smart player punishing you that knows how to shoot and mix melees for quick kills. You will frequently find yourself in this situation. You have various different options here. Option 1 is to go for a second melee, but it's also the riskiest option as you might trade or die because you chose not to shoot and you're leaving yourself vulnerable. Option 2 is to throw a grenade. Still pretty risky as once again you might trade or you most certainly will die because you chose not to shoot and you're relying on RNG basically. This also depends on the type of grenade you throw. Option 3 is to back up and shoot. This is the more reliable option as this gives both players a chance at coming out alive at this first melee trade situation. But even if I made the last two options I mentioned sound bad, that's not the case at all. The three options I mentioned after that first melee trade are all viable. This all depends on you as a player, your brain, and various situations. What I just explained might sound simple, but that's easier said than done. In the rest of this video, I will show you all weapons with some exceptions on how many shots to land for a melee kill. Again, this stuff sounds simple, but knowing this is very important. Active camo, inbound. Active camo inbound. Active camo available. Seven sniper inbound. Ah! 
Alright guys, that's the end of today's video. If this helped you out, a like and a share would be very much appreciated. Also, if you want to stick around, consider subscribing. Links to my Twitch and Twitter are down in the description. Twitter might be the best place to follow me as that's where I provide updates on upcoming content to the channel. I know I'm not using Twitch too much at the moment, but sometimes if you don't see me here for a while, there's a chance I could be streaming over there. So follow to my social and Twitch would mean the world to me. And until next time, peace. <coughs>